You said that someone inherited the Saint Rouge recipe, didn't you? Is that someone Avery Smith? It has to be. He doesn't seem like the type to be able to brew drugs, though. Avery used to help Professor R do research in secret. What? Well, that wasn't in the report. I only realized it just now. The moment I spilled my coffee on the floor. Avery revealed that he was helping with some sort of research. <sighs> but at the time, I let his confession go in one ear and out the other. Now that I look back on it, I realize it was solid proof that he was helping her produce Saint Rouge. What makes you think that? He had free access to the deepest parts of the cold storage warehouse. Oh. Wait. Meaning... Saint Rouge needs to be produced in an extremely cold environment. Uh... Exactly. That makes sense. Aaliyah Davis. You already considered this possibility, didn't you? That's why you investigated the cold storage warehouse as soon as you got to Lucare. In order to locate where Saint Rouge was being made. Then... You came across Lisa's body by pure chance. Well, she was in she was investigating the drugs and found Lisa's body. Melvin wasn't the fool king. What? Many different characters pop up in Lena's journal. And I mistook one of them for someone else. What are you talking about? After Simon hit me and I fainted, I had a dream. Now I'm convinced. I'm the Fool King. The Fool King was always meant to be an outsider who suddenly arrived in Lucare. And the man she felt a need to eliminate wasn't me. But Avery. Lena realized her plan was on the verge of falling apart. She also guessed that I would be able to save Patricia from Melvin. The one worry that remained in her heart was leaving Patricia behind and how her life would play out from that point on. Especially since she would be left behind with Avery. A large, childlike man who's beyond anyone's control. So Lena didn't want her to die. She wrote After that journal all. entry hoping that I, the Fool King, would be capable of stopping Avery. And she wrote it in a specific way in order to try and rouse me to action. Lena and Melvin both entrusted me with their daughter. So please, just let me go. It's my duty to protect her. Who do you think benefited most from the Greenvale case? <sighs> no one benefited from it. Many lives were lost. That's all. You really believe that? Everyone who survived was overcome with sadness. Scarred for life. Without exception? Without exception. Isn't that right, my fairy? I feel like you're the one person who benefited from the case. Are you shitting me? He was like in love with Emily and she fucking died. So... You were able to add a new chapter to your stunning career and earned unshakable trust from the chief. That's what allows you to go on using his intel network as you please, even though you're retired. Are you seriously suggesting that? Does he seem like the type that really cares that much about his career, the way he's living? Sickness is destroying my body. I feel like I'm on the verge of losing my mind. Yet, somehow, 
I'm unable to forget the cases connected to those seeds. Whittling down what's left of my life. Chasing them. You really think I'm doing all this for nothing but self-interest? Is that really what you're saying? Aaliyah's smart. She's top class, even within the FBI. She must understand that what I'm saying makes sense. The problem is that she's too smart. The way she is now, she'll refuse to accept anything that can't be explained with logic. I understand what you're trying to say, but it's too perfect. It's too perfect, just like that report of yours. How could you come to such a detailed conclusion after spending years shut up in this room? It doesn't make sense. The only possible explanation is that you're bending the narrative in the direction you want it to go. Why do you think I left the field for two years after Greenvale? That case cost me not only my best friend, but also my special talent. I never thought I'd lose something like that. But ever since then, I've been unable to solve cases using that method. <gasps> Metaphysical offender profiling. Uh-huh. I tried everything I could think of to regain my lost talent. But it never came back to me. That's why I quit working for the FBI. And without anywhere else to go, I simply spent my days seeking truth. Searching for an answer I'd never find. So, time continued to cruelly pass me by. Until finally, a disease started eating away at my body. I thought it was all over for me. <coughs> but about half a year ago, I finally reached my conclusion. Everything started with the red seeds. He and I encountered these seeds long before we reached Greenvale. Under the seething, mind-melting sun of Louisiana. Then, for some reason, in the beginning of December, I finally regained my talent. And instantly, I could see the other world again. Get it? Through allowing the cancer cells to ravage my body, I regained the power to travel to the other side. This is the only answer, Aaliyah Davis. Truth is a surprise born from coincidence and an unknown power. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna shake my head. I made a promise with Melvin. He entrusted me with Patricia, all he had left. But immediately after you solved the case, you sent her to the Clarksons and left town. Isn't that right? You let go of her a long time ago. So you have no right to step back into the picture now. That was the wrong thing to do. I was young. But now, I have the chance to right my wrong. You can't be serious. You can barely stand up. I mean, he had enough strength to attack you. <laughs> hey, Aaliyah. I know, Agent Jones. I know I'm stepping over the line here. I just want to make it clear that we can't trust a word of what he says. She was the first perpetrator in the case. And technically, she was also the first victim. Maybe... Well, it's impossible to ask her now, but... Maybe she really did love her daughter with all her heart 
And so, she was afraid. Afraid of what would happen if her daughter did end up inheriting the Clarkson estate. It was fear uh, or something like it. Bit of a stretch. That's what let the red tree inside. That's still no reason to kill someone. Especially not your own daughter. I know. Of course I know that. <sighs> and I'm sure that deep down, she did too. Two bizarre cases derailed your life. It must have been extremely painful. You have my deepest condolences, but that doesn't put you in the clear. You're still a suspect. A suspect? For you already what? know that Avery kidnapped Patricia. Patricia isn't here. The murders of Sheriff Melvin Woods and Candy Woods. Oh, Christ. Their bodies were never recovered. Katrina carried them away, along with many other lives. Aside from that report you wrote, there's nothing that proves your innocence. Hey, let's not jump to conclusions here. Yeah, and you could never prove it anyway. Oh, I'm not. Because Katrina washed everything away. I also suspect there's a possibility that he murdered individuals connected to other cases that he's worked on. Oh, Lord. The Greenvale report bears the same inconsistencies as this one. And both cases are filled with victims whose deaths were never witnessed. Stop. Don't say another word. If you so much as mention her name. If I mention it, then what? You will pay. Oh. Twinkle, my fairy. Don't look at me that way. I know how talented she is. I completely agree with you on that one. But I can't hand everything off to her just yet. Can you just let me get my way one last time? <sighs> Bell. No. Special Agent Aaliyah Davis. You're exceptionally talented, I admit it. You found Lisa's body, then discovered the red seeds all on your own. You even noticed that there was someone else in this room. You've got amazing intuition. You're a hunter with an extremely keen sense of smell. But you still can't perceive the other world the way you are now. That's all there is to it. Simon, look inside that trash can. Huh? The trash can? It's right behind you. Then you'll know for sure that I'm telling the truth. Banana peel. It all makes sense now. My God. Yeah! <laughs> We told you not to touch the sanctuary! <sighs> what is this? I'm the one who sent Aaliyah the tip and sent everything into motion. Need to talk alone. FK, the Fool King. What's on that receipt? What is it, Agent Jones? F. K. Oh, holy crap. Huh. Contact a local agent and have them investigate Avery Smith's home. There are still agents investigating the Lucare area, right? Trust me, that's where Patricia Clarkson is. Trust you? 
Where's your proof? Ask Aaliyah Davis. Ask her about the name of the person who tipped her off. So he gave her the tip. What do you mean? You're from Chicago. And you love pizza, right? Especially deep dish pizza. Smothered in cheese. Chicago style pizza isn't pizza. It's soup. What does this have to do with pizza? Just ask her. And ask her why she decided to take this case in the first place. Got it? Pizza will never betray you. So you need to trust it, too. So all this started because he tipped her off. How could you have known that I would come here with her? I didn't. I just bet on you. God damn it. Hey! Tell me what's going on right now, Agent Jones! <clears throat> oh shit. Thank you, my fairy. Car key, Simon. Let me go. Don't worry. <clears throat> just trust in the pizza. I'm the anonymous tipper. F.K. Uh, it's on the corner of Third Street. What in the hell is going on? GTO. You've got excellent taste. She's got to be pissed. Lend me your gun too. Oh yeah, Agent just give Jones. me your gun, Simon. Don't you you are so fired. Here. This is a severe obstruction of justice. You're violating the FBI code. Yeah, Aaliyah, I know, but pizza. Pizza will never betray me. Pizza. Tell Abrahams to prepare a private jet for me at the airport. I know Robert won't turn his back on me. Wait, Morgan, are you serious? The chief would never lend out a private jet to a civilian like... Like, um... I have to leave you for a bit, my fairy. They'll be fine. They'll figure it all out. York, can you hear me? I'm going to go finish the job you started. That makes us even, okay? Hmm. York, she really is a genius agent. She's probably going to end up being an even better agent than we were. She just needs more experience under her belt. She's still only pursuing the world she can see with her naked eye. She needs to experience more frustration she needs to strengthen herself. <laughs> on the other hand, Simon's much smarter than he looks. No wonder he was able to go on watching us for four and a half years. All that struggling under the surface paid off in the end. <laughs> Do you want to know why he decided to start trusting me? It's simple. It's all because of the name I used to send the tip to the FBI. It's the name of that pizza parlor. The Chicago-style place with those oh, trademarked crimson boxes. Franklin's Kitchen. FK. FK. Yet again. They've got the best deep dish pizza in the area. Both Simon and I love that place. That's why I told him, pizza will never betray you. Will it, York? <laughs> Five hours later. And that's pretty quick from Boston to Louisiana. Five hours. Oh, yeah. And we're riddled with cancer and on our last legs. So clearly we're going to save the day here. York. It's almost time. Finish this. I'll be there soon. Watch my back, will you? 
This is going to be my final battle. So I'm this far gone, huh? But unlike 14 years ago, I feel more at home in this world now. Explore the cold storage warehouse. Whoop. Okay, let's... Probably should drop a save here. Man, that was a lot of talking. We went like an hour. Guess I don't I don't need food. Uh take some bullets and some healing and Oh shit. We got our tree gun arm back. Also brilliant, Avery. You abduct you abduct Patricia and then you take her to the cold storage warehouse where they just found the other body you were hiding. Oh, and we have another set of hallways. Hey, these enemies aren't just ghosts, though. They're like actual... They actually have character models instead of just red... Nah. Interesting. There we go. We could barely stand up a minute ago. Now we're running around. I wasn't expecting another uh, hallway slog. And I mean, is it really necessary? how that voice line just cuts off. It's so awful.
got him. Can I just run through all this or it's probably gonna make me go back and Jesus So many guys Reload, reload. Yeah, let's just go through all that. Speed run strats. Oh, geez. Okay. The meat room. God, that's a lot of... A lot of meat... There's so much meat in here. But it's so empty at the same time. Okay, we'll drop a save. And then... I don't need the map. I would like... To heal. And have a nice, refreshing coffee. Okay. Please tell me we're not going into another hallway. Please. Ah. Oh. Sweary. Why? <laughs> Oh, she's, she's not dead. I thought she was. But that's what she says when she dies. She's saying void, but it cuts the voice line off at void. So she just, void. Oh, come on. Well, that got kind of dicey.
Uh, I was gonna say, I heard her. Is that it? No. Is there more in here? No. That's where we came in. Oh, son of a bitch. I see her now. Just hanging out. Hurts, don't it? I was gonna say, please don't. Don't teleport through the wall so I can't kill you. Please. My luck. Ah, curse you. Here. Oh, yeah. Die, please? Thank you. Tell me that this is it.
really hate how engaging the story is. And then you have to do these just... God, these go on way too long. Way too long. Honestly, more than like one hallway of those is way too long. Because the combat just is not fun. It's just tedious. Um, well, let's refill our concentration, shall we? Let's fill it up all the way. And then let's refill our health. Crack open another box of bullets, I guess. Oops. And then... Sure. A large health kit? Why did I do that? Son of a bitch. There we go. And... Coffee. Is that it? Please tell me that's it for the hallways. Uh, <laughs> why? <laughs> Sweary, why? Okay. I have a cold, apparently. And I, I don't have any cold medicine, do I? I don't. I got some gum. Sure. are new. Nothing that way. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I'm getting sloppy because I'm just trying to run through it. Actually hit kind of hard. 
was not expecting that. Oh god, no. The fucking paralysis stuff. We gotta be almost done, right? This is this has gotta be the last one. The last the last singularity, right? I mean it's it's gotta be. It's gotta be, right? I mean, this has got to be it. Hey, I think I have cold medicine in my bag. I do. Nice. Okay, and then let's take out some big ass med kits and we shall drop what I am praying is the final save and that there are no more hallways. <laughs>